Assalamu alaikum and hi, my name is Numa Isurabiti Ma'afendi and today I'm going to be presenting my final year project with the title of Mobile Application for Restaurant Recommendation using Kim Fenson Tech. So first of all, why do I choose to do a restaurant recommendation? This is because it's a norm for people to eat outside of this. And people also prefer to go to a restaurant than go through the food preparation process. And last but not least, people are also using restaurant as a medium for socializing. For example, to celebrate an anniversary or to celebrate a birthday party. But along the ways of trying to find a perfect restaurant or while people are at a restaurant, there are a lot of problems that they have to face. For example, travelers and foodies find it difficult to find a nearby restaurant based on their interest and budget. On a survey that has been conducted on 2019 on 130 people, it is stated that 78.5% of the respondents don't know where to go to eat when they are in a foreign area. The second problem is queuing. Based on the same survey, it is stated that 17.7% of the respondents thinks that queuing is a waste of time, while 36.9% of them think that queuing makes a restaurant become more crowded, and 30% of them think despise when they queue. And last but not least, it's a long wait time in the restaurant. According to a journal that is written in 2018 by Rashid Police and Sector, it is stated that a long waiting time in a restaurant can lead to customer dissatisfaction. So, what are the solutions to actually fix this problem? So, the proposed solution is to create an application that will help customers to view nearby restaurant based on their interests, based on their current location, and also allow customers to order food uh, using the application. Hence, the objective of this project is to design a recommendation system based on users' current location and preferences such as the cuisine provided, the environment of the restaurant, and also the budget that they have. The second objective is to develop a restaurant recommendation mobile application using geofencing and rule-based filtering technique. And last but not least, is to test the functionality of the system. So here we have the use case diagram. As you can see, we have two roles here, which is the customer and also the restaurant. So here we have the customer overall system flowchart. So this flowchart actually shows the flows of the system based on the customer perspective. And we also have here the restaurant owner overall system flowchart. This shows the flows for the system based on the restaurant owner perspective. So I'm also going to be talking about the techniques implemented. So there are two techniques implemented in this project, which are the which are the geofencing technique and also the rule-based filtering technique. So the geofencing actually allows us to create a virtual parameter around a certain area with a certain size. So in this project, we are going to create a virtual parameter around each registered restaurant with a radius of 5 kilometers. So every time that a customer's location are overlap with any of the restaurant's geofence area, the restaurant will be recommended to the user. So the second technique is the rule-based filtering. The rule-based filtering technique is actually used to filter restaurant based on the user preferences. For example, if a, if a customer only wants a restaurant that has a Thai food and they only have a budget of 1 ringgit and 10 ringgit, the system will check each of the restaurant and only show the restaurant with the spe their specific characteristic. And without further ado, I'm going to be demoing my system. So I'm going to start demoing my system. So first of all, this is the login page, which is the first page that the user will see once they enter the application. So user can also choose to sign up here. And it will go to this page where the user can choose to register as a customer or as a restaurant owner. So first of all, I'm going to click customer. So this is the res registration page for the customer to register. I'm going to click restaurant owner. So this is the page for restaurant owner to register. They can put all the emails, password, and choose the restaurant cuisine and so on. So I'm going to go and sign in that. So first of all, I'm going to be logged in as a customer. So here are the main page. For the customer so i'm going to click the current location button and here is the nearby restaurant around me and we also have the filter button here and up right here we have the the button where we can go to a certain page that we want for example the main page my order my card edit account and also log out 
So I'm going to show you the filter features. First of all, um, for example, I want to have a fast food and also fast food that is Western food. So I'm going to apply it here and it will show the McDonald's and also KFC. And I also have put a features where user can search for a certain location and find the, the nearby restaurant around that location. For example, I'm going to be clicking the Polytechnic Malima and there are two restaurants that are nearby the Polytechnic Malima, for example. And I'm also going to try and put another place, for example, Vista Alam. So these are the nearby restaurant around Vista Alam. So I'm just going to click Minati Steakhouse. And in this page, it will show the picture, the name, the address, if the user or customer want to go to the restaurant, the, the contact number of the restaurant and also the menu of the restaurant. So I'm going to be ordering a food here from Minati. So I'm going to click Oglo Olio, lamb shoulder and also fillet. So I'm going to go to the my cart. So this is my cart and I can actually edit the quantity that I want. For example, I want two Oglo Olio and here's the total price and the pickup time. So I'm going to pick up by example four o'clock going to place order and the order is created and I can view back the order that I created at my order page so it will shows the name of the restaurant the order ID so that when I want to pick up the the orders I can just show my order ID to the restaurant owner and the pickup time and also the total price so basically the last thing that the user can do is to edit the account. For example, I'm going to try and edit my phone number here. So I'm going to try to put, for example, just as an example. So account updated. As you can see, um, I've already changed my number here. So we are going to go and try and log in as a restaurant owner. So this is the main page of the restaurant owner. So they can view order, manage menu. And here we have the main page, the edit count and also log out. So what we can do is we can click the manage menu button and it will show all of the menus that the restaurant have. The restaurant owner can also search for the menu. For example, I'm going to click Oglo Olio and it will show only the Oglo Olio things. And it can also update update for example i will update the name of this thing and also the price this is going to update ogler ogler to t ring it and you can also add menu here for example i'm going to go with b1 i'm just going to do a beef and the price is C15. And there you go. And we can also actually, no, I'm sorry, and click it, uh, long click any of the item in this menu and to delete it. So I'm going to delete Oglo Olio. So here it is, it deleted the menu. So I'm going back to the main page, main page. So I, it, I'm going to click the view order button. So this page actually will show the order of all the customer that has ordered from the restaurant. So it shows the order ID and also the pickup time. But when a restaurant owner click any of the order ID, for example here, it will show all of the menus and the quantity that the customer want, the total price. And if a customer click, okay, there's nothing that will happen. But if the cost, the Restaurant owner click order finish. It will delete the menu, the order from the from the database. So the restaurant owner can also edit the account, the number, and also the name of the restaurant. And basically, that's it for the system demo.
The functionality testing result can be seen in Chapter 5, and it shows that each function of the application functions appropriately. Hence, we can conclude that the system has been successfully developed and each objective has been achieved. But there's a lot of improvement that can be done to the application to actually enhance the user's experience. For example, we can give the customer the ability to book a table at a restaurant, a GPS navigation from the customer's location to the restaurant that they desired, a rating system, and last but not least, a delivery option for each of the restaurants. So that's all for me today. I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to actually present my funny project. Have a good day. Thank you.